What did Queen Elizabeth II really think of Meghan Markle? As the world watched the Duke and Duchess of Sussex named their daughter Lilibet in honor of the late Queen, questions lingered. My deep dive into palace sources has uncovered some troubling revelations about Prince Harry and Meghan's behavior. Curious about the hidden dynamics between the Queen and Meghan Markle? In this video, we'll reveal the truth behind the smiles, uncover the tensions that developed, and explore why some believe Meghan's behavior raised eyebrows among the royal family. Stay tuned for a behind-the-scenes look at what truly happened during those years. A warm welcome to Meghan! There's no denying that the Queen initially welcomed Meghan Markle with open arms. In an unprecedented move, Meghan was invited to join Prince Harry for Christmas at Sandringham in 2017, five months before they were even married. This was a break from tradition, as previous women marrying into the royal family, including Kate Middleton and Sophie Rhys Jones, had to wait until after their weddings for such an invitation. The Queen's 2017 Christmas broadcast even seemed to hint at Meghan's inclusion in the family. The American actress herself recounted how joyous her first Christmas at Sandringham felt, likening it to the warm, bustling family she had always hoped for. It's clear that, at the start, the Queen saw Meghan as a positive addition to the monarchy, a breath of fresh air who could help modernize the royal family. Early Signs of Concern However, as Meghan and Harry's wedding drew closer, the Queen began to have doubts. Sources suggest that Meghan's reluctance to take advice from Sophie, Countess of Wessex, raised eyebrows. The Queen had recommended Sophie as a mentor to help Meghan navigate the complexities of royal life, but Meghan appeared uninterested. This attitude, along with her choice of a pure white dress for her second marriage, hinted at a tendency to dismiss tradition. Yet, it was the incident involving the Queen's tiara collection that reportedly caused deeper concern. After a promising start, Meghan's dealings with Angela Kelly, the Queen's trusted dresser, hit a snag, leading to tension over the timing of tiara fittings. Although Harry has denied the infamous what Meghan wants, Meghan gets remarked, the episode remains a symbol of the pre-wedding stress. The Queen's efforts and Meghan's response. Despite any concerns, Queen Elizabeth did her best to make Meghan feel included. Meghan was given the title of Duchess of Sussex and invited on a solo outing to Chester with the Queen just weeks after the wedding. Meghan herself acknowledged the Queen's warmth, calling her wonderful during her famous interview with Oprah Winfrey. The Queen also entrusted Meghan with several significant roles, including Royal Patron of the National Theater and Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. It seemed that the Queen hoped to integrate Meghan fully, even as doubts about her commitment lingered. But Meghan's decision to step back from royal duties in 2020, announced abruptly on social media, seemed to betray the Queen's trust. The bombshell interview with Oprah in 2021 and the mocking of royal traditions in their Netflix series were perceived as slights to the Queen's legacy. What palace sources really think? Interviews with palace staff who were there during the Sussexes' time as working royals suggest that some insiders were skeptical from the start. Meghan was seen as unwilling to adapt to life in Britain, often seeking reasons to be unhappy or critical. She allegedly played into Harry's frustrations about his secondary status within the family, fostering a sense of discontent. For the Queen, who was battling health issues in her final years, it must have been painful to see her kindness and efforts at inclusivity dismissed. Her hopes for a harmonious future for the family were undercut by a series of public controversies, leaving many to wonder if Meghan ever truly intended to make Britain her permanent home. The late Queen's efforts to welcome Meghan were clear, but the drama that followed raised more questions than answers. What do you think about the strained relationship between Meghan and the royal family? Share your thoughts in the comments below! Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more in-depth insights into the royal family's private world. Thanks for watching!